Hey guys, so I'm back to do another grocery haul because everyone seemed to really like it last time. This one was a pretty large one. We had like barely any food. And I know a lot of it is junk food, but whatever. Everything in moderation is fine. First off, I got paper towels. I like these ones because you can pick the size that you want and they're just really cheap. Flushable wipes, some denture cleaner because my husband has dentures paper plates. These ones I will buy over the cheap thin paper plates because every time I buy the other ones it seems like everything just soaks through the plate. So these are my preferred ones. I got some light red kidney beans and pinto beans to make some chili. Here's beef brisket for chili. Dog treats because I have spoiled little brats. These T-bones which they've never had. They love these little marrow bones and they love these jerky treats sourdough bread, peanut butter, chocolate chip, chunky, whatever, soft cookies. They're really good. I don't know. A dozen eggs, like typical stuff. Bell peppers and diced onions for the chili. And then I found this down home Cajun style pork loin filet. I can cut this in half and freeze them separately. And my husband and I get two meals out of it and it was less than $6. So that's a really good deal. How many pounds is this? Just over a pound and a half, so. Some smoky maple bacon. This brand I've really grown to love. It's a weird brand, but it's really good. Um, some ground turkey. Pork chops, because pretty much in this house we eat white meat. We rarely eat red meat. Sour cream to make my corn casserole. This cup of noodles chicken tortilla. I thought my husband would like it. It's one of those quick things to just snack on one day. Raspberry pop tarts are his favorite. I got a Sprite and a Mountain Dew for just drinks around the house. I've got some hot hatch green chilies for my corn casserole. Two cans of this sweet cream corn and another diced chilies all for the corn casserole. If you want that video, it, I'll have it linked down below on how to make that. Got some stewed tomatoes. It's the only vegetable my husband will eat besides these beans. He loves these beans. I don't. They're all right. I mean, these ones luckily come in little like one serving cans. Then some coffee creamer. These are the vitamins I've been taking, and I'm super happy with them. The hair, skin, and nails. My hair and skin have been so much better right now. I mean, I've got fake nails on, so I don't know if they're helping my nails, but I like them. Some turkey. Some shredded Mexican cheese. I just found this Velveeta brand and it was actually two cents more than the one that I usually get. So I'm going to give that one a try. And then they also had the Queso Blanco cheese slices, which is the flavors that I get of the shells and cheese that my husband likes. So I thought he would like that for sandwiches. Unsalted butter. I always, always, always get everything unsalted or low sodium. Stove top stuffing. I use this as like breading and stuff instead of buying breadcrumbs. I found these I thought he would like cosmic cupcakes. I love goldfish crackers. Those are my go-to snack. And then I found these for just quick meals one day. I got him a chicken carbonara and I got a red beans and rice with sausage for myself on days we don't want to cook. Um, the Sam's Choice, the Walmart brand basically, of the thin crust Hawaiian style pizza. He loves Hawaiian, so I just kind of suffer and eat it. And then I'm one of those people that puts sweaters on my dogs. I found these really cute sweaters, this pink and gray one. And then this one for my boy dog. And it's like, it's really soft, like velvet material for the paw. And then I found the most amazing pillow. It's mermaid colors, but it's one of those pillows that like you can move the sequins around that I know everyone sees on Facebook for a lot of money. I paid $10 for this at Walmart. They had a gold and silver one and I think a red and silver one. But I found this mermaid color one and I loved it because when you go like that, it's like matte black. It's not even like the shiny. Can you see the difference? I have to hide this pillow so I don't get my butt chewed out for buying something I didn't need, but whatever. Here's my Christmas tree. Oh, I probably shouldn't turn the camera like that. Everyone's been asking how I've decorated. This is my tree. Yes, it's an artificial tree. 
I have dogs. I prefer them not to pee on my tree. This is my tree skirt that I've had for years. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. And then I've got my little porch greeters, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and Eeyore. Oh, I bought a thing of dog food too. My countdown that my mom actually passed this down to me. This little silver bell. Then we've got our stockings hung over here. Jim knocked his down a couple years ago and it fell on top of a candle. That's why it's all burned. And then of course I got Cinderella. And I got these, uh, I almost call them candle holders. Stocking holders when I was working at Kmart years ago. But they're still holding up really well. And then I have this little picture over here. This is Let It Snow. And there's a switch in the back and it'll light up and everything. And then I just got some garland above my mirror. Bambi, why are you getting into the tree? Huh? What are you doing? This is my dog Bambi. Oh, going the wrong way. Now she's going to come up under me. This is the other one, Waffles. He's the full-blooded Pomeranian. Oh. Well, that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed my whole grocery trip, whatever you want to call this. And hope y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. And I'm going to try and upload this today if I get time. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye.